IGCSE Computer Science Syllabus Statement 1.4F Show Understanding of the Need to Keep Online Systems Safe from Attacks. So when we think about attacks, what we mean, like what we're going to be looking at is phishing, farming, and um, DOS, as in denial of service, not the other DOS. Um, yeah. So let's look at phishing first. So um, we're kind of doing what we did with security aspects. Um, so we have a description, effects um, of the risk, and methods to avoid it. So yeah, let's begin. So the attacker sends a legit looking email with a link. So when the victim um, clicks the link, as, as in the attacker sends the email to the victim, uh, when the victim clicks the link, they are redirected to a fake website. Now what this fake, fake website does is if the victim falls for it, then the victim, like, the, the, the website could be, oh, this um, bank account has just opened up. Um, so like, you know, you can put, enter your details and whatever, and uh, we'll, we'll create you an account. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just enter your uh, little credit card number here, and uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the um, l like the emails, like they use large companies, so like they use well-known banks. Um, to try to um, convince the victim that the email is authentic, so it'll sort of copy the format of the like a legit bank, and saying, oh, like this is, for example, uh. I can't think of I can't think of a bank at the moment, but like this is oh this bank. Um this is legit, you know, we create an account with us, we'll we'll provide this, we'll provide this, so yeah, so if the victim falls for it then Ugh, they're screwed. <laughs> um uh, the effects of the risk is the attacker can gain personal information, obviously, it's like bank account details, credit card numbers, and this can lead to fraud or identity theft and loss of money. So methods to avoid it, <laughs> don't open emails from unknown sources, obviously. And um, also ISPs can uh, filter phishing emails. Um, then there's farming, which is kind of the same idea, but it's, it's the method's a bit different. So um, in farming, the attacker installs malicious code on the victim's hard drive um, or the web server, and the code will redirect them to a fake website without their knowledge. And of course, the website will try to trick the uh, victim, saying, oh, well, this, you know, you know. Um, so yeah, the effects of the risk include the attacker gaining personal information, identity theft, methods to avoid it, be alert and look for clues that um, you're being um, redirected to another website. Obviously, because if you're being a re redirected to another website, yeah, then you'd be like, hmm, I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, weird, I didn't do this, hang on, I didn't. Um, and then some anti-spyware software can identify and remove um, farming code as well, so that helps. Um, what the user can also do is, um, when they're on a website, they can see that um, padlock or the um, HTTPS, so they know it's secure. If they don't see it, then uh, it's not secure. Now, here's the thing. Um, some people may confuse phishing and farming, like the terms. Some people might say, oh, phishing is when the code is installed. Well. To avoid this, here's a good way to think about it. So you know what actual fishing is, like actual fishing, like you go to a lake and you fish for fish. Like farming, planting seeds on the ground and whatever, um, the crops and all that. Here's how, what you, how you can think of it. Fishing, you grab a fishing rod, right? Put some bait on it, um, cast it, and then the fish will try to, well, the fish may try to eat the bait. That's kind of like um, computer fishing. So the bait is kind of like the email, and the fish is kind of the victim. So the, um, the fish can decide whether or not to fall for the trap. Farming is kind of like actual farming. So farming, like actual farming, you're planting seeds in the ground. Farming here, in this instance, we're planting code on the computer. So that's a good way to um, think about fishing and farming in case you get confused. Then there's um, DOS attacks. So a denial of service attack prevents users from accessing a part of a network. This is usually done temporarily, but can be very damaging. I just had a sudden realization. Technically, this is the last security video, um, because the next one, we're just applying it to real life scenarios. So technically, this is the last security video. Um, so yeah, it's been through quite a bit. Anyway. Um,
So, one DOS attack method is um, flooding the network with useless traffic, and this is how it works. So when a user clicks on or enters a link, a request is sent to the internet server which contains the website. The server can only handle so many weird ways. Hang on, before we get to that, I should probably explain more about <laughs> the DOS attack, actually. Um, so just ignore that you saw all that. Um, anyway, um, so what a denial service attack can do is it can stop you from like accessing your email or accessing some particular websites or accessing like online services like shop like online shopping or online banking now we can move on to this <laughs> okay so um one dos attack method is flooding the network with useless traffic and this is how it works when a user clicks on or enters a link a request is sent to the internet server which contains the website the server can only handle so many requests requests so if it's flooded with thousands of requests it won't be able to service the user's legit request, therefore denying the user service. So, yeah, the um, server becomes like, you know, there's all this stuff. It's like, whoa, we can't sort this out. Where does this go? Where does that go? Where does We can't really sort this. So that's um, pretty much how it works. So the server can only handle so many requests. So, yeah, that's how it works. So let's look at an example of this. So, um, like... A user's email account, for example, the attacker what he, what they do is they send many spam emails to the user's inbox, and ISPs only allow a certain amount of data for each user. So when the user's inbox gets filled with spam messages, the user won't be able to receive legit emails because, like, you know, there's a lot of spam and the the like, the server can't handle that, so therefore, they cannot. They, they're basically denied service. Get how that works now? Hopefully. There are methods to avoid um, denial of service attacks as well. Um, so, use an up-to-date malware or virus checker. Um, although virus is kind of malware. Okay. Um, use a firewall to restrict traffic to and from the user's computer and internet server. Use email filters to filter out um, spam email. Um, look out for slow performance when accessing websites because um, you, you, you tell that something's going on. Like, there's quite a lot of um, stuff going on. Now, a DOS attack can be aimed at one victim or a few victims or many victims. Usually it's one because some, some hacker wants to get at one person who um, they, like, you know, they just get really, they just don't like them. So they're just like, yeah, let's, let's deny you some service. Um, Look out for unavailability or inability to access particular websites. So, like, if you can't access that or if the service isn't available or you're not, like, able to do this. Yeah. And also look out for large amounts of spam emails in uh, your inbox because, obviously, that's um, 